Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott, Independent Demonstrator in Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, today I'm going to make a card and I'm going to use um, Happy Birthday to You out of the Best Year um, stamp set. This can be found in our new annual catalog. Um, it carried over. And I'm also going to use uh, the designer series paper from the current um, mini catalog and this um, catalog ends in June. So I wanted to use stuff out of this catalog because there's times running out. Um, my inspiration came from this card uh, right down here and so I'm going to case this. They use the cactus suite and I'm going to use the uh, designer series paper. Um, so I just cut out some flowers out of the DSP. Um, I used my Stitch So Sweetly dies and I cut out the biggest scallop with the same uh, designer series paper. I have a strip of the Hydrangea Hill designer series paper and this is 3.75 by 5.5. I have an old olive card base 4 and a quarter by 11 scored at 5.5. And basic white four by five and a quarter, and then the strip that came off of my purple piece that's going to go on the inside. So, those are all my bits, and I may add ribbon or twine later, I will decide that near the end. So, the first thing I'm going to do is grab a sheet of copy paper so I can color. And I have my Highland Heather, light and dark, my old olive, light and dark, and then I think for the center of my flowers, I'm going to use the dark gray granite. And I will probably also bring in my Winka Stella. And that's pretty much everything that I'm going to use for this card. So let's get coloring. And those who follow me know I keep my coloring pretty simple. I've used this um, designer series paper a lot. Um, I cut all my paper um, down to uh, four by six um, pieces, except for the two pieces that had these flowers on it, because I knew I was going to want to do a lot of cards with this image. And it's so pretty. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so this is the dark, and I'm just gonna kind of shade where they got the dark lines, and then I'll go in with my light and blend it all out. And sometimes I'll leave like a little white edge around the edges because I kind of like that look too. So it looks bad in the beginning, but then you'll see once I get it all done it will look really nice and I probably should have cut fuzzy cut this first but shouldn't take too long should be a fairly uh, fairly easy design to cut out And hope everybody is well. Um, I have to work later. Um, I got called in, so one to nine. So I thought I would jump on and do a quick little video. Hopefully, I can get it uploaded before I go to work, but we'll see. Sometimes videos take a while to upload. So if not, it'll be uploaded later tonight. bring in my dark gray granite and I'm just gonna color those centers and I'll probably just add Winka Stella to the centers too so now I need my light my light Highland Heather oh I am so itching to place another order but 
I don't have any money. Which makes me sad. Because I haven't done my markers for a while. I hope to get back at those soon because whatever I make at my markets, that's what I use to uh, buy Stampin' Up! So, I might not be able to take advantage of the extra Stampin' Up! rewards right now, which really bums me out. But I'm not established, so I have to be smart about it, which is really hard because I see everybody else. Um, unboxing and playing with all the new stuff and I, I only have two bundles out of the new catalog and they're the trees well you really can only do so much with the trees I find so you might be seeing some uh, sets out of the annual catalog that carried over from me just because that's all I really have to work with Which is good. I mean, I've got to use what I got. But I am itching to get some new stuff. But then I gotta think ahead too, because the new mini catalog will probably be coming out in July. So if I spend all my money in June, I won't have money for the other stuff that's coming out. So it's never ending. It really is. Like I said, if I can get back at the markets and start bringing in a little bit of money, that will help me out a lot. Okay. My husband, he's been busy installing our new flooring. Um, it's looking really good. And I'm also excited because I have a robin building a nest under my deck. So I'm hoping to have little robin babies chirping soon and I'll try to get some pictures so I can put on my business my Facebook business page but every time I open the door she flies off so I don't know I might have to do it when she's out hunting for food try to get a picture of the babies there could be eggs in the nest right now and I, I don't even know it That's exciting for me anyway. Okay, I just got this flower left. Oh, I'm gonna be so glad, uh, sad, glad, not glad, so sad to see this paper go. I wish it had have carried over so pretty. It's, it's funny how this flower looks different, like colored different than these ones. This looks lighter. That's weird. So I'm just going in with my dark, adding a little bit of that dark. And then we'll go back in with the light. Okay, I think that's pretty much done. I'm just going to add Wink of Stella to my flower centers. And that is really pretty. You probably can't see that, so, whoops. 
Now, scissors and fussy cutting time, which I'm not really good at, but this one shouldn't be too bad. I think I'm going to leave a little bit of a white border because I do like the look of it uh, looking like it was cut out using a die. And if it's a little off, it's no biggie because it's going on a piece of black and white. And I'm not really looking forward to going to work because, oh my gosh, I had so many really rude and nasty customers ye yesterday. And you know what? I'm just, I'm done with people. I am so done with people right now. Like nobody has any patience whatsoever. I'm just working in a grocery store. It, it's not fun, guys. Like I'm stressed out. And I haven't had as much time for my channel lately as I would hope. Um, but when people call in sick and uh, they can't find people to replace those people, I, I don't like to say no. But I don't, I'm at the point where I, I really don't want to work extra shifts just because it, it's, it's a stressful time working right now. Um, like part of me wishes they would just call for my my operation so I can have like six weeks off. I'm ready. I'm ready. I hate to say that because I'm not looking forward to having an operation, but I, I need a break from nasty people. So everybody who subscribes to my channel and who watches me every Monday night, on my Facebook lives I just want to say thank you like I look so forward to chatting with you guys every week and it's a it's a real nice distraction from what I've been dealing with lately okay so that is cut out all right so we are ready to assemble here this is a real this is a real quick and easy card really it is And I love case and stuff out of the catalog because just switching up like the papers and the but like the different bundles, like it makes the card look totally different. But I, I need birthday cards. I always need birthday cards. So little bit of glue peeked out on there and I love these colors together okay so. it's almost a shame to cover up this side but. okay and the Tombow gives you a little bit of wiggle room I want to make sure my paper is lined up on the top there. Okay. And then if I have any little bit peeking off, which I don't, so that worked out perfectly. <clears throat> I'm just going to grab my bone folder. I'm going to go upstairs, upload this to YouTube, and veg out before I have to go to work. And then i got to get ready for my hockey game, which, oh, so stressful. Lost the first game. Okay, so I think I'm going to glue this down, and I'm going to pop up my sentiment. Oh, yeah, my sentiment. So I have a piece of um, thick, basic white. And I'm going to do happy birthday to you. 
because I think the only thing I want popped up is my sentiment. Like, isn't that pretty? Oops, I got a little wrinkle. Oh, look, I tore it off. Shoot. Okay. Bring that back down there. And I will put an embellishment over that little seam. Like it never happened. So just because you mess up, don't worry about it, because usually you can cover your mistakes. Okay, so I have... Happy birthday to you. I'm going to stamp that in memento. And we'll go. Like that. I love that sentiment. It's not too big, it's not too small. And I think I'm gonna cut this out in my banners pick a punch. So I'm just gonna bring up my little trimmer and trim this a little bit. Closer. I think I'm just gonna flag the ends here. I love this punch. Absolutely love it. Okay. And in the sample they have their sentiment off to the side, but I think I'm gonna put it down here and I'm going to pop it up. Pop it up. Okay. I actually might move it down here to the right. And I think I'm just going to add some embellishments. I don't think I'm going to do any ribbon. And I have to use up... I have a few embellishments that are... no longer available, so I just want to use them up to get them gone. I think I'm going to use the frosted epoxy droplets. Where's my take your pick tool? Okay. So I'm going to put one here. And I have to put one over the seam of the flower that broke. And then I'll put a little one right here. There. That never happened. Easily fixed. And that is the card, guys. Easy peasy. I just love, 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 love this paper. And I just added a little strip of paper on the inside. So pretty. So thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, I go live on Facebook every Monday night, so uh, follow me on Facebook. I'll have all my links in the description below. Um, I probably won't list these products because um, they're, they're, they're going to be leaving. And I don't even, honestly didn't check to see if they were still available or not. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the mini catalog that is gone. Um, but I just wanted to come on and... and and use these uh, this gorgeous paper because I'm not going to be able to use it for much longer. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.